on a Wednesday. I'm Mark, and we welcome those that are watching on our YouTube channel and also TV Channel 15, New Wave Cable Channel 15. We welcome you this morning. And, uh, Randy, good morning to you. We have a special guest in studio with us this we morning. We sure do. An old friend is uh, joining us who has uh, taken over as uh, the senior pastor at Logan Street Baptist Church, and that is Ron Trotter. A lot of people remember Ron. He uh, was at the Wayne City Baptist Church for quite a while here in Wayne City, and, of course, he also most recently has been uh, working with one of the regional Baptist associations where he's worked with a number of different churches and uh, now is the senior pastor of Logan Street Baptist Church. He joins us this morning. Great to see you again, Ron. Hey, it's good to be here, Randy. Welcome well, to the Vine. Well, thank you. And you, Mark. Yeah, it's, thank it's, you. Appreciate the invitation. Yeah, Mr. I think this might be your first time you've been to the new studio, isn't it? Actually, no, I, I was you were here, here before. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I couldn't remember if you'd been here or not since we moved. But, yeah, we've uh, had a few conversations. Okay, well, that's great. But uh, <laughs> you're you're back in the pulpit again and pastoring yes. at Logan Street Baptist Church. Tell us how things are going so yes. far. Yes, well, we're, we're making great progress. If I could compare our church to a baseball team, I would say we're probably the Cubs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Although the Cubs swept the Cardinals yesterday. Two That's true. Zero. That's true. They did. So uh, they did. you can't diss that too much. But the church has really good bones. But in all in all truth, we are in a rebuilding program. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying, you know, everything in life has a life cycle. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are times when you need to renew, recommit, and reevaluate what you're doing and start over. And uh, we're in that process. And mm -hmm. so we're, the good thing is I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, along with that comes a ton of hard work. And oh, so yeah. we need a lot of prayers to get through all that hard work as we renew and, and get our focus mm -hmm. on, on really where it needs to be, which is the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Well, of course, a lot of churches go through different uh, periods of time and transitions and things like that. And Logan Street certainly has done that, too. But the roots run deep there at Logan Street. And there's a lot of wonderful people there that, that serve uh, in many capacities there at, at Logan Street. And, and so you got a great nucleus of right. people to, to work with there to, to try to uh, reach out and minister to people in the uh, Mount Vernon and Jefferson County area. Right. I also compare it to um, if you're running a body shop and you restore, you know, classic cars. Mm -hmm. You don't want one that's completely rusted out. You want one that has really <laughs> good bones. If it has like good that. bones, you can do a lot. You know, and like you can that. come out with something that looks really great. And the church has excellent bones, tons of talent, just yeah. uh, talented people all over the place. And uh, good people who love the Lord, and that's that's what you need. Yeah, that's know? big. That's a big plus. Yeah. How how long you been in the ministry, Ron? I've uh, been in the ministry a little over thirty years. Oh my! And uh, mm. uh, many served a lot of bivocational churches early. Uh, I taught school, and uh, I usually worked two or three jobs at a time until about. Uh, Sounds 20. like us. Yeah, it? <laughs> it sure does. Right? Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, eventually, uh, about mid nineties, I. Uh, uh, was fortunate enough to be called full-time ministry. I served another regional association mm -hmm. of Baptists. And since then, I've been uh, serving full-time, along with working a few other jobs as well, yeah. uh, to pay the bills. But uh, just been blessed beyond measure. Just can't say I'm and, yes, and one thing we talked about off the air, Ron, something big that you and your wife was involved in for many years, Randy, is missionary fields as well. Yeah, yeah that was really our original call. We just we felt like we were called to missions, and that, that was really what got us on board with the service and, um, and you know, felt the need to prepare and meet all the qualifications, you know, to not just mm -hmm. say I'm a missionary without having some qualifications. And so we both... Uh, Headed back to school, we uh, raised our family all in school, and uh, my wife and I both graduated with our masters the same year our mm -hmm. oldest daughter graduated from high school. So we wow. were all in school together. Wow! So you were doing homework all three, sitting all around the dinner the time. table. Yes. Holy <laughs> cow! Wow! I didn't realize that all yes. three of you at the same time—that is an incredible accomplishment, and it, and it had to be some stress well, too. It, yeah, it was all the Lord, but yeah. uh, but it, but He saw us through. I, my last semester in seminary, I had I needed one Hebrew mm -hmm. class. Uh -huh. And um, I couldn't get it at Southern, which is where I graduated, mm -hmm. Southern in Louisville. And um, so, but there was a night class offered in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> and so on, on Monday morning, I left at 3.30 in the morning, drove to Louisville, Kentucky, took a morning class and an afternoon class, and then got in the car, had 10 minutes to spare, drove four hours to Nashville, Tennessee, oh took a goodness. Hebrew class, oh my goodness. and got home at uh, just about 1.30 the so next morning. So I'm guessing morning. that was before online classes. <laughs> it, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That's what, yeah, and it wasn't <laughs> any time after that, just a couple of years, yeah. and, and, and you could have you know, oh, yeah. you done all that a whole lot easier. Mm. Oh, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. We survived, and we've been blessed. And, of course, uh, Renee is in the, the medical profession. Yes. Uh, nurse 
nurse practitioner. Mm-hmm. Yes, she yeah. certainly is. Right. Yeah. And uh, she's she's very happy in that. And it, mm-hmm. it turns out our mission field has really been more here at home than mm-hmm. it was overseas, although mm-hmm. we've been able to serve overseas as well. Yeah, so it's that's all awesome. Good. That's awesome. Well, we're glad to have you in studio with us today. We look forward to visiting with you over the next uh, sure. 45 minutes to an hour, so stay with us. Yeah, yeah. we've got more coming up, Randy, as we're going to visit with Ron and uh, tell us all kinds of activities that's going on, Ron, at uh, Logan Street Baptist Church when we come back. And we'll do that when we come back here in just a little bit. The Vine Morning Show continues here on a Wednesday at Real Life Radio. And Randy Sports is coming up at 735 this morning. And he'll talk about the Cardinals and the Cubs coming up right here on the Vine. Real Life Radio is thankful for the financial. Overcomer, that is Mandisa here at Real Life Radio, 105.5 and 90.9 The Vine. As we're with uh, Pastor Ron Trotter this morning, Randy, from the Logan Street Baptist Church in Mount yes, Vernon. Yes, we are. It's, yeah. it's been fun catching up with Ron. And uh, Ron, i got to ask you, how uh, how did you come out of the situation there where you were at the Regional Baptist Association and get back in the pulpit again at Logan Street? How'd that come about? Well, it was just, uh, I call it, I just got a new assignment. It's <laughs> kind of like uh, <laughs> serving serving in the military, you know, yeah. you don't all, you don't know what your orders are going to be you don't really get to choose your place and uh, as we were talking I've several years ago came really under conviction about the way sometimes we hire staff in our churches Mm -hmm. Uh, there's too much of an influence of uh, climbing the ladder and I really didn't find that in the Bible and so Mm -hmm. I uh, I was uncomfortable with the thought of you know constantly seeking other positions and so I quit seeking, and mm-hmm. I, I really prayed about that. I talked to the Lord about it and said, God, you know, I'm going to serve where you put me until you move me. And um, if you want me to go somewhere, just send me someone to talk to, and, and I'll talk to anybody. But mm-hmm. as it turned out, I was uh, very happy serving. Uh, we had 26 churches and the Greater Wabash Association, mm-hmm. uh, busy all the time, uh, preaching all the time, you know, filling in for pastors and doing special mm-hmm. events and missions and all of those kinds of things right up my alley. It's, it's God's work. And uh, yet I knew that there was something coming. God usually does that for me. <laughs> uh, you know, he'll, he, he may not give you all the information, but he gives you just enough to be ready that, hey, I'm mm-hmm. going to send you something. And, uh, yeah, and in a couple of months from that uh, particular devotion prayer time, uh, I got a call uh, from uh, guys at Logan Street. We'd like to talk to you, which I was just shocked. You came uh, out of the blue. Yeah, just co- mm-hmm. totally out of the blue. And Because uh, you had not sent them anything. I had not sent right. them anything exactly. and, right. and had determined that I'm not going to seek positions anymore. Mm-hmm. Right. God's going to have to place me. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when that came, I said, well, sure, I'll be happy to talk to you. And uh, so, you know, from that conversation... Uh, through about 20 hours of interviews, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we uh, we came to the uh, conclusion that we felt like God was in it. And so yeah. that's how I wound up there. That's awesome. Well, having served on a pastor search committee myself before, I know it's a daunting task to try to go through large stacks of, of, uh, of resumes. And, and your eyes start to blur after a while. And, and you're right. It, it's almost like there's got to be a better way or a different way. So I have a feeling that the folks of, uh, of Logan Street must have been led in such a way to where they decided to pursue a different path too rather than just go through the usual you know, resume uh, drawer there but instead go out and try to find a person that God was leading them to and that's how your paths cross and I just think it's an amazing story I think it's really great sure and that's I think if if we you know the more we depend on the Lord the, the more that we back ourselves out of the process of, of God's work mm-hmm. and let him direct his own work. Uh, you know, that sounds strange. Christians shouldn't have to say <laughs> things like that. Yeah, right. But unfortunately, we get ahead of God and we get in his way way too much, you know. And so when he does it, oh, it fits together in a way that we could never make it work. Yeah, that's exactly true. Uh, we're going to visit with you some more this half yeah. hour, and you're going to stick around with us, I guess. We'll sure. get the sports yeah. coming up, don't we, here, Mark? Yeah, we do, Randy, and we're going to talk with Ron. They've got an event coming up in September oh, that yeah. we want to talk about, too, from and find sure. out from Ron when we come back. And uh, we're going to do that here in just a little bit. But right now it is time for Randy's Sports Report this morning. And the area sports report coming up with Randy. And it's next. It's being underwritten by Progressive Careers and Housing. If you love and care for The Vine, I'm Lyle Dean. Welcome back to the Vine Morning Show here on this Wednesday morning. I'm Mark. It's great to have you along this morning as we're visiting with Pastor Ron Trotter this morning from Logan Street Baptist Church. Ron, again, it's great to have you in, in studio with us this morning. It's great to be here. Yeah, and we've been talking about uh, 
Logan Street. And, and uh, Ron, you really didn't have much of a downtime between uh, the time you were called to pastor the church, did you? No, not, not a lot of downtime at all. We, uh, I originally set it up to have a couple of weeks, but as it turned out, with the transition on both ends, uh, there were meetings that I needed to be in and things uh, you know, that I needed to wrap up. And so it just kind of turned out... Uh, uh, the Lord's work didn't stop. I just went to a new location and uh, no downtime. But there will be, you know, you, oh, yeah. when you need a break, you just get off like the Lord did and sure. and go spend some quiet time and he'll renew you. Amen. And, you know, one of the big things that you really enjoyed, you and your wife, uh, was the missions field. And, and what was the most memorable thing? You guys spent a lot of time in the mission field, Ron. Yes, we've done uh, more work. And uh, unfortunately, we, we probably still have a little bit of desire. Well, we have a lot of desire because that's in our heart. You sure. know, and, and we want to spend more time doing that at some point and and i'm hoping that uh, that's something we could do in our church is to build in uh, you know the mission work uh, all over you know not only overseas but here and you know regionally um, but uh, i guess if i had to say the the most impact that i had on the mission field uh, the that it had on me was probably uh, a trip that i took to west africa several years ago uh, you see uh God's people there, we were working with established churches and their outreach to other places farther out in, you know, more primitive areas. And you see God's people who have nothing, who live on dirt floors, mm -hmm. who wash their clothes in wash tubs with a bar of soap. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, faithful women whose husbands go off to work in the city and come home maybe once every two weeks. But they have, I met, I, particularly, I remember meeting one young lady who was less than 30, she had seven children, and uh, in a one-room mud hut, thatched roof, you know, dirt floor, and she was the brightest, most happy in the Lord person that, wow. that I have met to this day. She talked about how great the Lord was, you know, and, and uh, it just, it really hits home when you realize it's not about stuff. Yes. It's about the Lord. And yeah, yeah, that's so true. You know, we, we, we take things, we make the, This is a materialistic world, oh, Ron. Oh, so much. And just like this lady here who, uh, li as you mentioned, lived in a, in a dirt floor home with seven children and going through uh, the poverty that they go through over yes. there. It's so amazing yes. that she still had the faith in God as much oh. and as bright as she did. Yes, and, and what was not affected, you know, we have been taught uh, in our materialistic culture that that poverty is is one of our biggest problems you know and it's really not about what we have or what we don't have uh, because the Lord meets our needs according to the scripture and uh, so you know we have some growing to do um, I think the biggest impact is that I, I realize these people have some things that they can teach me mm. and and it's always that way on the mission field I always feel like they teach me a lot more than I taught them sure sure and you know you were talking about missions abroad but there's missions right here in our oh, own backyard sure, right sure. there's such needs you know needs all around us and uh, you can just you can feel it when you drive up and down the street there's just uh, needs everywhere every home um, every family and uh, you know God's work is that we don't need to say that there's just nothing more to do for the Lord because there's more to do for the Lord now than ever before there's more people here you know that is so true and in the in this, in this time of the of a season that we're going through and uh, in our nation and stuff and that we need to focus more on God now than we ever yeah, have absolutely absolutely I I uh, brought a message last Sunday, you know, which uh, I kind of doubt it's Fourth of July weekend, so, you know, you kind of deal with the nation and sure. those kinds of things. But uh, the bottom line is uh, it's all about Jesus. You know, it's all about Jesus. Early Christians served in a decadent culture in a, in, under a government that was not friendly for the first 300 years, enduring severe persecution. And look what they did. They changed mm -hmm. the world. You yeah. know? So we've, we've got some great examples to follow. Yeah. And you've got a uh, son that's a, that's a minister, right? Or yes. do you have two Ooh. that's been actually in the I yeah. actually have two sons. Both my sons are p pastors. Uh, my uh, oldest son uh, just recently has resigned his church. He pastored a little church uh, down uh, uh, past uh, the little village of Dahlgren. And um, then my other son, uh, Aaron, uh, has just taken the pastorate of the New Hope Webb Baptist Church in Jefferson County. 
And the interesting thing is that when he was born, I was the pastor of that church. So he's, really? he's kind of made a full circle as well. <laughs> How many years were you there when that happened? Uh, yeah. we, we were there five years, five and he years. was born in that five years. Yeah, he was our, he's our youngest, and he was born while we were at the church. So it's, And the church, uh, some of the old-timers that still remember us uh, have some good stories to tell about him when he was a baby <laughs> and as a boy. <laughs> you know, what's so, what's so awesome about that is that he can go back and reminisce, and some of them can can reminisce with him when you were in the pulpit, right? And, and like you said, but but it, it's so interesting to have a, a son or, or or someone working in the ministry. You guys can share a lot of stories together and study together. Yes, correct? and and it one of the great blessings of my life is uh, when my sons call and say, "Dad, what do you think about this?" or mm. "Tell me what you would do in this situation." and and uh, that is so precious. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, that's a blessing that I did not anticipate, and yet God has sent it our way. And uh, that's that's uh, that's one that uh, just goes right down to where you live in your heart. Yeah, you know, I was going to ask you that. Do they ever come, or does he ever come to you, and or they ever come to you and say, Dad, um, you know, what advice can you give me on on this scripture? How should I present it to the congregation? Yeah, yeah, we've had uh, we've had many discussions that way. As a matter of fact, over the winter time at uh, at our house, when we have time. Um, we several times in the winter we I have a wood stove in in my shop and so we have what's called the men's meeting oh, and uh, yes. so the two the two boys and I <laughs> we gather around the stove on the Saturday morning and we uh, uh, we talk things over and it's uh, it's not exactly no women allowed but they need to give us a warning if they're coming if they're so, coming <laughs> yeah it's a men's club it's morning a, it's right a, it's a men's meeting and uh it's it's just been such a blessing sure sure we're with pastor ron trotter he's uh with logan street baptist church and ron we're going to come back after eight and uh talk a little bit more about logan street and you've got an event coming up in september that's going to happen on your North 42nd Street property, right? Yes, we'd we'll love to talk about that. It's going to be exciting. Yeah, we're going to talk about that when we come back as we're heading into 8 o'clock this morning. He reigns. That is from the Newsboys here at Real Life Radio 105.5 and 90.9. The Vine, the best Christian music for you and your family. Welcome back to the Vine Morning Show on a Wednesday morning. It's just after 8 o'clock. I'm Mark along with... Pastor Ron Trotter from Logan Street Baptist Church in Mount Vernon. And, Ron, it's great to have you in studio with us this morning. I appreciate the hospitality. It's been a great morning. Hey, we appreciate you being here, and hopefully in the future you'll be able to come back and talk a lot more about what's going on at Logan Street. But you guys have beautiful property, as Randy was talking earlier, in uh, around 730 or so, uh, on North 42nd Street in Mount Vernon. Yes. And uh, you have an event coming up in September that's going to take place there. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, We've been just excited. Extremely blessed to have a property, and we are looking, uh, making it a priority to uh, relocate to that property. We feel like God is moving in that direction, and and we certainly want to honor Him in what we do. But uh, we're going to do on the 19th of September, which is a Saturday, we're going to have a, a family day, and it's going to be just a fantastic day for people of all ages, um, starting. Uh, I can't even give you a time right now, but it's going to be, uh, you know, early in the day. It's going to be an all-day thing and into the evening. We're going to have music of the evening, and uh, we've got a nice pavilion there. We're going to have some food for everybody. We're going to have, uh, you know, the blow-up things for the kids Mm -hmm. and all kinds of games and things to do. And that's just going to be a great time of fellowship and fun for uh, families of all ages. And uh, tied in with that weekend, we're going to make... Uh, we have never formally dedicated that property to the Lord, and uh, even though He's provided it for us, and uh, we we know that He's working there and moving there, uh, so we just we want to go back and just say, God, thank you for what you've done so far, and we want to dedicate this to you, and uh, we want you to be honored in everything. And as we relocate, sure. then we're going to be praying for His continued hand in that whole process. And so the next Sunday morning, which is the twentieth, we're going to move all of our service. Um, out to that 42nd Street property. We're going to be meeting in the pavilion. We've got a nice pavilion, plenty of room for everybody, you know, and uh, we're going to have a special service that day. That service is going to begin at 10 o'clock, and we won't be having Sunday school. Uh, we won't be meeting at all in the present location. It'll all be there at the 42nd Street property, and it's just I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. You know, it's amazing because uh, Logan Street has had this property for quite some time. Yes. Is that wrong? Yes. Yeah. This this property has been, and the, the plan has been there for many years, and uh, we're just now ready to, uh, as they say, 
you cross over into the promised land, you know. Sure. Uh, it took the children of Israel a while to get across the Jordan, too. And uh, it's taken Logan Street a while, but but we're really working hard now. Our, our uh, 42nd Street Committee is working hard. Uh, we're working on a preliminary plan for phase one, and uh, hopefully this time next summer you'll see some progress out there. Yeah. And it's all kind of falling together, too, because, you know, the city of Mount Vernon is redoing 42nd Street. I was going to say, uh, are there plans yes, on redoing that? This summer. Right? It's, wow. it's already marked, and, you know, the weather has been so, so wet that that project is a little late in getting started, but that's going to greatly benefit us as well because we, uh, we're going to have two entryways, and uh, that street is going to be raised up and widened. Uh, so it's just everything is falling into place the way it does when God's in it. And Amen. So we're just excited. Amen. And, and the thing, as you mentioned, that's very important, you've never dedicated the property. And by dedicating the property to the Lord, that'll speed things up. Oh, I'm sure. sure. I mean, yeah. you know, when you get, um, I, and I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, we want to get God in on what we're doing. Right. It's, it's, it's the other way around. Yeah. Uh, God is already working in that direction. But we just want to make sure we join him the way we should. Sure. And uh, when he's involved, uh, he, he makes things work. He opens yeah, doors that we could never open. Amen. And that is such beautiful property there. And that's going to be an awesome time. And that's in September again. Yes. The date again. On yes. That? The date uh, Saturday is going to be the uh, family fun day. And it's going to be all day. And, and uh, you don't have to be young. You can you could. <laughs> there's going to be great music that evening sure. after in Pavilion. So just come and enjoy and, and uh, spend some time with uh, a lot of really good people. And then our, our special dedication service on Sunday morning, to September 20th. What else is going on at Logan Street? You guys have a website that you're going to be working on. Yes, correct? we are. We do have down. a website that is up and going now, and uh, we're we're in the process of improving that website. But you can get good information off of it on on uh, a few of the activities that we have going on just now. Uh, of course, we're uh, we're always uh, hoping to grow and to add uh, this. Uh, uh, tonight, as a matter of fact, July 8th, we've added a new Bible survey class, which is going to be taking place there at the church. In addition to what I'm doing on Wednesday nights this year, we're doing a uh, read through the Bible uh, study, and uh, our entire uh, Wednesday night service consists of that. We've got a lot of folks that are reading, you know, on a schedule, and mm -hmm. then we discuss and work through that. But we're also adding that second class, and, and my hope is that we'll be adding... Uh, something for everybody to where um, we, you know, we get those small groups really rolling, not only on Wednesday night, but we've got plans for small groups in homes, and uh, there's just a lot of things on the near horizon that we're excited about. Tell us about uh, service times at Logan Street, Ron. Service times at Logan Street now are Sunday school at 9 o'clock. Of course, it, it is a traditional Sunday school. We've got uh, classes for all ages. Uh, great teachers, great people who, who spend a lot of time in what they present. And uh, that's at 9. And then our morning worship service, we have one morning worship service, and that is at 1015. And uh, Isaac Halleck is our interim music uh, director. Brother Isaac is from Alton. He comes mm -hmm. uh, over to us uh, three days a week. He's wow. working part-time for us. But uh, Brother Isaac's one of the most talented people that I've met. You ought to hear him play the piano. He is fantastic. Uh, wow, <laughs> wow. You know, wow, that's awesome. Well, Ron, it's been a pleasure you coming in this morning talking about what's going on at, at Logan Street, and, and we invite you to come back more. All right. Well, I'll sure do it. Thanks for the invite, and you have a great day, Mark. Thank you, Ron. You too. Pastor Ron Trotter from Logan Street Baptist Church in Malvern with us this morning here on the Vine Morning Show.